Hello, this is Andrew Powell, and this is another devlog video. Um, similar to my other dev devlog videos, I'm not going to do other takes or make edits or anything. Um, but unlike last week, I'm actually posting my devlog video on the day that I said I'm going to post it, which is supposed to be every Sunday. Uh, but unfortunately, last week, I had a uh, another presentation to do. A presentation that I might post in a separate video uh, after this. Uh, but in this demo video, so I actually took the time to uh, update the Slayer Knight browser version. At some point, I am going to post the uh, a playable uh, demo that you can like, download and play through the itch.io browser. Uh, but at least for now, the browser is very convenient to use uh, for most people. So I'm just going to stick to it. Um, uh, but the uh, okay, so most of the time was actually spent going into uh, making optimizations, especially with my uh, physics system. Really important that that runs as smoothly as possible. And without realizing it, I was relying on a lot of um, I guess C sharp um, like classes that clashes and lambdas. They do a lot of allocation on the heap, and I effectively had to go and remove the majority of those type of operations in order to prevent garbage collection from happening, at least with the uh, the physics uh, uh, the physics system, because that, that needs to run uh, smoothly since that directly impacts most of the actions that you do in the game. Uh, but in addition to the, you know, the changes that you can't visibly see in this demonstration, I've also uh, added a dash effect. Um, by dash effect, I'm specifically talking about the, little, like the the shadows, like the blurry shadows that appear when I dash. And then there's also a little dust effect that kicks up when you're on the ground. You don't see it when you're in the air, but on the ground you see it, which kind of gives, uh, it gives a very visceral feeling whenever you dash around. And when you jump, there's a little you know, dust effect there. I am going to add a uh, dust effect when I hit the ground, but I just haven't done it yet. And... Um, if you look closely, uh, the character kind of glows white momentarily. That's supposed to indicate that their dash has come back, right? It's a, that's a visual feedback to the player indicating that, hey, uh, the cooldown of your dash has come back. Now you can dash um, without, you know, you can, you can dash because the charge has come back. In addition to that, if you notice on the wall, the character that's glowing like a little reddish color there. That's supposed to be an indication that, hey, you're on the wall. That means your wall jump is active, right? So you lose it when you've already wall jumped like that. But obviously you get it back when um, when you hit the ground. Um, I think there's one last effect that I added. It's a similar type of effect to the dash, but when you fall, there's a little shadow effect just to kind of give a feeling of movement. Um, that really, I mean, obviously, you know, the player can tell that they're falling. Um, but little, little, little uh, additions, a little like visual, um, I guess visual sugar, I think adds a lot to the uh, the gameplay. The character really isn't moving that fast, um, but the shadow effect and the dust being kicked back uh, really gives the impression that hey, you're moving, right? Um, so, I think the current plan right now, so. Before, I was thinking about going, like doing more uh, development in terms of uh, the enemy AI and then uh, hit detection uh, and more, you know, interactions that you can do with like enemies, which obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna do. But I think in the next several weeks, I'm gonna really focus on um, the the movement and even going ahead to implement a lot of the um, like the buffs that uh, help you get quote unquote resets on the movement. So. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I explained in an earlier devlog video, but one of the game's uh, mechanics is what I call, you know, there's a huge emphasis on resets or getting quote-unquote charges, right? Uh, so you dash, you don't see it, but it consumes a, uh, a dash charge, right? The dash charges um, get replenished after the cooldown, so when the character flashes, um, that's them um, getting a uh, dash charge back. So, the default, they only have one dash charge maximum. Um, but I think I'm thinking about later on in the game, maybe they can have more total dash charges so they can like spam their dash twice. Uh, but when I say a reset or 
get a get a uh, a dash charge. There might be certain conditions in the game um, that allow them to just instantly get a charge, right? And it's not just the dashes that have charges. Technically speaking, the jumps have charges too. Uh, specifically, the wall jump. So it's not. I mean, it's implemented, but you know, I only have maximum one wall jump. But the idea is that you know, there's items that you can get uh, that respond you know, pretty quickly, but you get them and they basically get you a, a reset either on your dash or your jump, right? Which allows me to kind of build up more interesting levels and, you know, it provides another option to the player uh, for, you know, more, more movement. I'm also going to tie it to uh, the fighting too. I'm thinking, you know, when the player lands their third strike, uh, they get a reset on their dash um, or jump. Or, okay, well, it's, it's probably just going to be the uh, the dash. I haven't really thought about all the cases when the uh, the reset occurs, but I, I know that um, there's going to be resets, item resets for the dash, for the jump, and I think I might have another one that does both the dash and the jump. In the uh, the last version of Slayer Knight, the original version, I had a single what I call movement reset, where if the player gets it, then they're able to do another jump and another, another dash again. But I'm thinking about maybe breaking it up so that there's a dash reset and then there's a uh, jump reset, um, and then maybe another item that does both for certain situations. Uh, but I think that's it for now. Um, I'm really Really happy with how the uh, the movement's coming along. Um, if anybody you know gets a, you know takes the time to actually play this, I would I would really appreciate you know getting some feedback on how the movement feels. Ooh, there is another thing that I did add that I almost forgot to mention. I did add um, a quote unquote input buffer. So it's not exactly an input buffer. It's more like on specific actions. Um, there's a lingering, not a lingering effect, but there's a lingering when you hit a button, right? And the conditions for using that action hasn't happened yet. Uh, the button that you press would linger for a few, like a few, um, like a portion of a second. Um, I think it's easier if I just like explain it with action, right? If I attack and dash, well, if I attack and then dash near to the end of the the attack, the dash will just come out, right? And what's happening, or, what's happening there is that the, uh, the dash action lingers until the attack finishes. It's the same thing with like the jump. Right? You can actually jump. When you do the wall jump, you can actually hit the jump button um, before actually even touching the wall. If you notice that the character doesn't even glow, that's, I, I'm doing that just so it feels better when doing certain actions. I don't think I have this. No, I don't have this at all for the regular attack. Uh, but specifically for the jumping and the dashing, uh, it's pretty critical that those happen uh, whenever the player needs it to happen. Um, you know, obviously, you know, dashing is needed for movement, but it's also used to avoid actually taking damage. Right? So the player like hits the dash, you know, as they're attacking. You know, it feels real bad where you know you might hit the dash at the same time as the attack, and under those circumstances, the uh, the dash won't wouldn't would would not have come out, but with the with the lingering uh, control effect now now it does. Um, I think that basically concludes everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, next week I should still be on schedule to uh, make another devlog video, and uh, thanks to those who took the time to uh, listen to this uh, update. Adios.